What excites me about, about this moment, about this moment in our country, is that we are poised for a comeback in a way I've never seen in my lifetime. When I was a kid, they talked about what the moonshot had done for our country. This time, it's our earth shot. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. and Jess. You can say I was born on a bridge. A bridge between North and South, Black and White, the old world of the East Coast and the cutting edge that is California. I lived my whole life on that bridge. I'm the first head of the Sierra Club, not just to be based on the East Coast, but south of the Mason-Dixon, leading an organization that was founded in San Francisco 130 years ago. Throughout the last half century that has been my life, more often than not, it has felt like our nation, the world's greatest and wealthiest democracy, is in decline. Some 63,000 factories have shut down in America in the last three decades. That's more than one factory closed for every town and city in our country. And the good news is that in this moment, our Earthshot moment, this moment is also America's best shot at our own revival too. It offers us a game-changing opportunity. After all, it is designed to sustainably fuel new technologies. Everything from electric cars to batteries to solar panels to heat pumps. And in the process, help save the planet for humanity. I think the big question right now is why aren't we moving faster? And the answer, as it always is in American politics, follow the money. The reality is, is that those who make their billions from the status quo at any given moment always have more money to stop a better future. These corporations are simultaneously gouging working people at the pump, forcing us to pay sky high prices while raking in those record profits. It's not right and it's not sustainable for consumers, let alone planet Earth. Like our American civil rights workers of the 20th century, our abolitionists of the 19th century, and our American revolutionaries of the 18th century, we find ourselves outnumbered, outgunned. In such moments, I often go back to the wisdom of Frederick Douglass. He said it was America's destiny, that our destiny as America was to be, quote, the most perfect example of the unity and dignity of the human family that the world has ever seen. In other words, brothers and sisters, we must win, we can win, and we will win this fight too. This is the mission of your generation. And so I ask all of you to do what I was trained to do as a kid growing up in the black church. Claim the victory in advance and go make it real.